50,000 laser eye surgeries done every year in this country. 30 million people worldwide have had the procedure. LASIK is usually done because a person is tired of or can't wear glasses or contacts. But this morning, Dr. Max Gomez is here with a remarkable story of a young man having laser eye surgery to save his independence. This is something, Max. Good morning. It's actually a really interesting story. Good morning, Kay. Good morning, Maurice. Now, imagine being paralyzed from the neck down and your only connection to the outside world and some semblance of independence is your computer. Now imagine that your eyesight is failing and you're having trouble seeing the screen. Would you go for laser eye surgery? Eric Abreu is one amazing guy. He runs his own music business, goes to college online, designs t-shirts, all after breaking his neck in a playground accident 23 years ago. I'm not going to ever be able to move again, so I'm paralyzed from the neck down. My only um, mobility is in my neck, you know, from my shoulders up pretty much. Well, I want to do it on a gray sweatshirt. So how does Eric accomplish so much? Technology is part of it. He talks on a cell phone with the help of a home health aide. And then there's a computer connected to the Internet. He's amazingly adept with a mouth stick, moving and clicking his computer cursor with a trackball instead of a mouse. He's online 16, 18 hours a day. But lately... After a while, I start getting headaches. My eyes start tearing. My vision comes blurred. Eric has run-of-the-mill typical uh, stigmatism which gives him difficulty for distance vision. He can't wear glasses, he can't situate them. And because of his situation, he certainly can't wear contacts. So he's stuck. But he can have his astigmatism corrected with LASIK eye surgery. And it may be the first time a quadriplegic patient will undergo this procedure. It's not a simple undertaking. First, there's a transfer from wheelchair to laser table. The beeping is the alarm on his ventilator that had to be momentarily disconnected. But once underway, the procedure itself is fairly routine. Be able to work and do whatever he wants much more comfortably without eye strain. Before his procedure, Eric shared with me what his life could become without laser eye surgery. I wouldn't be able to do anything from, again, work socially to, um, to schooling. So it's pretty much just me laying, laying in bed and not being able to do anything. A few minutes after his LASIK, Eric could already tell the difference. Actually, I, I already see a difference. The edges, when I'm looking, everything seems a lot more clear. Overall, it's just a better feeling. Now, I spoke with Dr. Delarusso last night, and he told me that Eric is doing beautifully. His astigmatism is corrected, and his vision should even get a little better over the next few weeks. So this remarkable young man should be able to maintain his independence. Wow, mm. what a story. You say that he has a home business? He has a home business. He's an independent music producer. Uh, he goes to college online, mm. designs T-shirts, does things. It was amazing to watch him work on, online, and uh, I'm sure that if you were on the other end of the phone line, you'd have no idea. Right, wow. that's yeah. incredible. Just a regular wow. guy. Driven. Yeah. Yeah, good for him. Great story. Thanks.